Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna add a couple more XT3 35mm f1.4 photos and using the Capture One. And for those of you who want to try it out and want to support my channel, you can try the link in the Capture One. Uh, so in the description below, so uh, you can try the trial with the demo, um, so that you can check it out to see if it matches the XT3. So let's get started. I'm gonna edit a couple of the pictures that I took last time, and then I'm gonna edit some more contrasts. And um, oh, this one seems like there's a layer adjustment layer, so I'm gonna reduce that. I just want to make sure there's no adjustment layer in here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of exposure overall. Or some of you uh, uh, were mentioning the brightness instead of exposure, but uh, we can do a little bit of the brightness also. Um, the saturation, um, I'm a, I'm gonna change the profile. This is the uh, simulation profile, the standard when it was shot, and I can change to other profile later. But uh, let's see how it goes. Um, highlight safe. I'm definitely move some highlight safe um, on here. Let's see, just a little bit. You can see that the highlight on this side is still very strong. Mm, brightness. Okay, let me reduce back to zero. And then let me make sure it is 4x5 adjustment right here. And then so I'm looking at the hor horizon in the back and then make sure that it's parallel so next thing i'm gonna do is do some patching um the sharpness for the here so i press the m um, in my keyboard and everything in the front it was in focus i just want to make sure that it is sharper so okay so and then press the m back i'm gonna sharpen it a little bit more Radius, threshold, reduce more. Okay, so that's sharper. And then um, next thing I'm gonna do is um, check out different profile. I definitely so this one was the Pro Rear, uh, the default one, and um, the Pro Neck standard. It's um, more multi tone and it's not very strong color Astia is good for outside style but the blue it seems like too strong right now so what we can do is uh, reduce the blue saturation oh um i was on the so make sure to click the background and then check the blue. So slightly adjust a little bit. You can change the the blue in the back, uh, but I might stick with a little bit to the center right now. And then, um, so the sharpening was on the layer two already. So so I think overall the composition is pretty good already. There's a um, background blur out the cloud uh, in the same when your eyes looking from the left to right it has this line leading to the head and then fall off to the, the other side and then let's do another one for this one let's check out other profile just for uh, Eterna classic chrome so you can see that classic chrome has less uh, muted color 
and the uh, Astia has a very strong blue color. So let's try the classic chrome. So it's, it's more like a uh, film style, muted film style. I'm gonna reduce the brightness, include, increase the contrast. I'm gonna do highlight safe. So if it's too strong on the face, I can do a adjustment of the highlights. So I am going to reduce the highlight on the selected. And then since I'm on the, um, on the sharpening, I'm going to sharpen it also radius. Okay, so let's see. So let's do some before and after. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit too sharp already. So before and after. So yeah, um, it renders a uh, nice after. Um, if you don't like the um, classic Chrome outdoor, Sometimes you can use the SDR soft, but it's too strong on the color for me. Um, you can reduce the blue, maybe halfway. Okay, some sometimes I like that, and then let me do a four by five crop and. So the reason I position this way is the um, the pond behind acts like a nice clean area for the head to be in, so that it is more concentrated. When the user look at the photo, it's cleaner around the head area, less distraction. Um, that was the reason why I put it in the center of the pond right there, so that it's not too distracted. And let me around this area. So let's say, okay, so that's good. And the next one is very similar. So I am gonna copy and then paste it, paste uh, this one, but don't do the adjustment layer right here, but uh, I'm gonna do, um, put an adjustment layer. Let me just double check the green. I press the M in the keyboard just to make sure that the air layer got covered. So, okay, that's good. And then I'm gonna reduce the highlight save for this one. So, probably around negative 65. And then, um, Amount of sharpness, radius, and then threshold reduce more. Okay, so you can see that it's very sharp around the eyes area. Let's do a before. So before and after, you can see that main difference uh, between how the capture one renders and then um, the raw file from the Fuji XT3. Um, it has a huge difference uh, in terms of the sharpness. Uh, so you can just try it out. You can use the link um, in the description below to try out the trial, just to see by yourself to see what's the difference. And um, yeah, you can use different profile as you preference. Um, let me double check. So this is here and then let me reduce even more. And then go to the background. I'm gonna reduce even more overall. And then exposure. Okay, so that's good. And then let's do it, uh, this one also. So first thing, since we are here, I'm gonna just paint it the uh, front area just to make sure that it is uh, in focus and sharper. So we can do it like just the same.
Okay, so let's press M and then let's do it. Uh, sharpening radius threshold and then um, the highlight save is not too strong so we don't need to do a lot of highlight here but overall contrast I can increase brightness slightly reduce a little bit shadow we can add a little bit of the shadow you can see the difference uh, and then highlight save a little bit Okay, so let me see the difference uh, between the before and after. Yeah, it's cleaner. And then um, next one is similar. I'm going to just copy this one and then paste it. Without the adjustment layer, I'm going to adjust manually again. Um, I'm going to copy this one and then Okay, so increase the sharpening So do it before and after Yep, so you can see that there's a haze and then uh, in the raw file and after the sharpening is good uh, And because it's selected, so you don't have to worry about the blur out area that not sharpened and then Slightly increase the exposure, but also at the same time reduce the amount of highlights save and this one Let's do a quick Adjustment 4 by 5 right here. Okay, so that's good. And then next one is similar. So I'm going to copy and then paste it. And then don't do the adjustment layer right here. So this one, um, it seems a little bit uh, colder color. So what we are going to do is we can adjust the white balance also. Um, you can make the Kelvin a little bit warmer. And then let me see before. So before and after. And then the last one, so let's see this one. Um, let me paste that one, the previous one on here. And then the layer adjustment layer, um, I have to do another adjustment layer right here. Let me double check. Okay. So just the edges and then um, let me update the sharpening here. Okay, so let's do it before, before and after. Yeah, so because the highlight save also uh, is more clear for the hair also and that's the advantage of the raw file you can update the brightness much stronger um, on the adjustment because the JPEG has a very limited adjustment and then um, we can use the Astia also So we can use this one. 
and then I will worry about the crop later but um, this is just the set of the process uh, I have to go through in the capture one so thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up bye